Mountaineers number 52 from One Army, the foundation tackling global problems through projects. And all right, guys, I've just imported videos and I realized that the audio is completely screwed. The room that I was working in had very empty walls, so that resulted in this very echo effect. I'm gonna gear up for next month in news, so bear with me for this time and let's dive back into it. This month is the makeup artist edition, as a friend of mine had this nice little studio and I thought it could be a very nice contrast to the usual roughness. What do you mean? You can't they back <laughs> So as every month, we're going to be starting with some news that we found on the web that, that, that we, we think are bringing about a more sustainable and just uh, future for this planet. Uh, starting with France and how they banned short all flights. So it wouldn't be possible anymore for you to fly from Paris to Lyon um, because it's a very polluting way of getting around. As you might know, flights that do take uh, the most resources and fuel in takeoff and landing. And if you are on a 45 minutes flight, you can imagine how more polluting that way of getting around is compared to a train or a bus. Commitment number three, within Europe, I'm not going to take any planes anymore. From now on, it's just going to be the train and 32 hour bus rides. And so France is the first country to implement such a policy and we very much looking forward to see more countries taking on such uh, such regulations. Next, uh, the UK, they just doubled the price for plastic bags from 5p to 10p and we know how such small changes they have a huge impact on the demand of plastic because uh, people will drastically reduce the amount of plastic bags that they use if you double how much they cost. So it's brilliant to see countries really taking this more seriously. Uh, another video that we found that was uh, really, really inspiring for us is from Johnny Harris, a YouTube filmmaker. And it's made a video on how he hasn't been shampooing for five years, just like our fellow uh, Dave Buckets. I have to tell you this reality. I have not shampooed my hair for five years. And yet those five years have been some of the best five years of my hair's life. No more itching, no more oily hair, no more dandruff flakes, just normal hair that does weird stuff sometimes, but is generally happy. And in this video, it really explains very well how, you know, his whole hair health has been improving dramatically since he stopped using shampoos and how brands are sort of brainwashing us on, you know, on reason and, you know, like weird concepts of hygiene and cleanliness in order to sell us more of these products products that makes us feel like we need them uh, every week. Next, uh, this other really peculiar video that, that, that caught our attention from Greenpeace, uh, sort of portraying Boris Johnson being taken away from a huge wave of plastic waste uh, that takes him from the parliament all the way down to the Thames. Uh, this is to sort of highlight how the UK is shipping millions of tons of plastic waste from the UK to some South, South, Southeastern uh, Asian countries and calling that recycling. So uh, yeah, this video really highlights how you can't really call that recycling and it's more like an act of dumping. Another little YouTube channel that we would like to sort of um, advise or share with you is called Climate Town and it's a, in my opinion the best sort of blend of politics and humor and fun. Hey, I was supposed to jump out of this to kind of scare you, but it turns out that's funnier on paper than it is in uh, practice. So I hope you don't mind too much. Last, I would like to mention how, or like talk a little bit about and open the conversation about, you know, how Elon Musk, a few months after starting to accept Bitcoins to pay for Tesla, he decided to pull off from that sort of payments because he claims that uh, Bitcoin as a technology is very polluting because in order to mine Bitcoins, uh, it requires a lot of electricity and normally this happens in countries like Russia or China where mostly come from coal and petrol. So he said, yeah, that's too polluting, we're not gonna accept it anymore. And you also start wondering, I mean, didn't you know back in February when you started accepting it? But 
beyond that point, we think it's really, really good that big celebrities like Elon Musk start to talk and most importantly make decisions based on the environmental impact of such a thing. And this you know, will kind of trickle down in society and hopefully will mean that more people will take in consideration certain things when you know, going about making decisions in their own lives. Okay, let's start with the news from Precious Plastic, our project tackling plastic pollution. This month we released a face mask video where we show the world how we take face masks and transform them into different products, uh, tackling this huge waste stream that is now being generated and polluting the planet. And massive shout out to Michael for the excellent work there. In this video, I'm going to show you how we took disposable masks like these and recycled them into useful and fun products. Using nothing but the masks themselves, we made a carabiner for clipping. This cube that's also a lamp. A hand plane for body surf. And a planter to decorate your home or office. And this video was produced with uh, Patreon money. So massive shout out to all the patrons that donate every month uh, to make sure that One Army can do more of its projects and of course one of these videos. And moving on in the next uh, few months and uh, years ahead, we want to try and produce more uh, videos of this kind. So if you do have any ideas or videos that you want to that you want to see, make sure to comment below and let us know what you want to see. So in May, we also released uh, the beta version of the community program, where we try to grow and strengthen the precious plastic movement. With the community program, we are trying to make sure that we, we as precious plastic, will be supporting, promoting, and helping to grow the precious plastic workspaces that are willing to help grow and expand precious plastic. So over the years we've been noticing more and more people, brands and workspaces that are taking, taking, taking and never giving back. And you know, brands got a brand and it's okay. There's little hopes there, you know, starting with Lush back in 2016 and dozens and dozens more uh, brands taking, you know, all the free knowledge that we put up there using it, not mentioning, not crediting, uh, and it's okay, their brains, there's no hopes almost. <laughs> but where it really hurts us a little bit is when a, a workspace and people, they, you know, they use the precious plastic knowledge, they use the machines that are free available online, and they make their own business, they get their fundings, and still they, they don't credit precious plastic in any sorts of ways. And, you know, we, we, we wouldn't care necessarily too much if it wasn't for the fact that such behaviors hinders the growth of precious plastic. Because you can imagine how if everyone involved would be mentioning precious plastic, you know, the growth will be exponential because more and more people will come across precious plastic and a small portion of these people will think, ah, maybe I can also start recycling. But if these people are hiding the fact that they are part of precious plastic, there is uh, much less growth that can happen. So we want to start um, trying to adjust that. And in order to do that, we introduced the community program, where um, you know, if you want to not mention precious plastic, it's all cool. You can carry on doing your business, but we as precious plastic will not help you grow anymore. So we're going to be making sure that we are supporting, promoting, collaborating, providing clients, providing traffic only and exclusively to precious plastic workspaces that are willing to support precious plastic. And you can do that in many ways. You can mention precious plastic in your Instagram bio, you can make a little section on your website, um, you can use hashtag, hashtag precious plastic. And we have made a whole list of uh, things that you as a workspace can do to help grow precious plastic. Because ultimately, the only reason why we work on precious plastic is to tackle the plastic waste problem. And unless we all collaborate together, this most likely will never happen. And the more people can come in the movement, the stronger and the more likelier we can be uh, to have a dent in the plastic uh, waste problem.
the community program comes with three sort of layers. One is the normal member, uh, which is still able to use the community platform, it can use for things, it can comment soon, uh, can make how-tos, uh, but it's not required to, to sort of do anything in, in, in return. Then you have the ally, and an ally is able to be on the map, as well as, of course, doing all the things that a member can do, and is also eligible for communication, for press, for collaborations, for partnerships, for sales channels. And in order to become an ally, you need to do something in return. And this uh, is all listed out in the ally checklist, of which you need six stars in order to become an ally. So make sure to go and check it out and see if you qualify as an ally in order to get all the benefits of being an ally. And the third layer is the verified. And these are the people that are sort of outputting the highest quality content, machines, products. And these are people that we're going to be collaborating more and more closely in order to support them uh, to become all this better and also to make sure that people that come on our project, on Precious Plastic, on the community platform, they can kind of filter who is been there for the longest time, who's got the most experience, who's outputting the best work. So creating a bit of a layering in the community uh, for the end users and also for the, 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 the workspaces themselves. And in order to become a verified workspace, you need of course to be an ally and also just, just outputting really top quality work. So in a nutshell, this is what the community program is. Uh, the program is still in beta, and so make sure to go on the academy page, check it out, try to understand how it works. And if you still have some questions, make sure to post them below so we can try to help you out and you know, see how you can become an ally. So let's have a look at a few use cases to see how this works. So for instance, you can see here uh, both and how they mention precious plastic in their bio, how they have a highlight on their Instagram, you know, a positively for precious plastic, how they use hashtags in all their posts. And so you can imagine how you know, everyone that comes across Bob's work also will sort of direct, indirectly understand that it's part of Precious Plastic and in case they want to start recycling, they know how to do it. So really, really useful. Uh, next, let's have a look at Joan Plasto from Dresden. And also they've been super active uh, recycling plastic and also promoting the work that we do at Precious Plastic. So as you can see, they also mention Precious Plastic in their bio. They do share always the hashtag on their website. They have a little section about um, precious plastic and what it is and how it works, as well as making a lot of videos and animations and stories about precious plastic and how it works and how people can start. And this is absolutely crucial for the growth of the movement uh, beyond the growth of the workspace, because at the end of the day, they probably understand very clearly that the plastic waste problem can only be fixed collaboratively together as a global unified movement. This month we also released the first ever special offer where we collaborated with Joan Plasto and for every new patron we're going to have these beautiful screwdrivers uh, handed over, custom made uh, specifically for this. And we believe this is a win-win-win situation where you know, precious plastic gets more patrons so it can do more of its work to tackle global problems. Joan Plasto gets more money so you can keep on recycling more and more. And also patrons, people like you, they will receive a really beautiful screwdriver so they can fix their things at home using a recycled uh, screwdriver instead of polluting with more plastic. And for this special occasion, I uh, decided to interview uh, Thomas and Joan Plasto. So let's uh, have a chat with him. Hi. My name is Thomas from Johan Plasto and I make screwdrivers from plastic waste and this is the story behind.
All right, thank you, Thomas. Super, super hyped about this special offer. So if you haven't already, go on Patreon, sign up, get yourself a screwdriver, and support One Army. In May, we also released the research module on our community platform. Uh, ever since shutting down the forums, we have seen an ever-increasing demand for a place to document our research. Uh, this code is definitely not the place for that. It was never intended to be so. So we have now dedicated a few, a few resources and development time to uh, create our own research module on the community platform. So here's our new uh, research module on the community platform. You can only see it when you're a beta tester. So we can add profiles, but it would basically be uh, a topic that you say, can we, for instance, make things from ocean plastic? And then you would here see first the question. So uh, yeah, we're going to see how this works. And then step by step. So the first step was uh, collecting material. So it's sort of a whole page that just explains step by step. Uh, yeah, what happened as a progress. So you, you just follow it every week or something. You make an update just to keep track of all the mistakes and things learned. So we are looking for a few testers, a few people that can test it out and can give us some uh, very valuable feedback to improve the tool so that it can be better for uh, the wider community. So if you are working on a research project on machines, on products, on molds, and you're interested to help us out to develop this, this digital tool for documentation and research, make sure to reach out so that we can give you access to it and you can help us uh, shape, uh, shape the software so that it can be useful to many more people in the community. And to conclude with Precious Plastic, let's dive into the community news to highlight the best work happening in the global community. Starting off with Zero Waste Australia and the beautiful, beautiful products that they've been making, amongst others, this very nice uh, injected USB key and these beautiful pens uh, that looks really, really stunning. Next, let's talk about our dear friend Rory that has been developing this huge, massive uh, 3D printer, uh, sort of uh, hacking the extrusion machine uh, to help him make bigger products. And we're very much looking forward to see where this research is going. Next, uh, the BBC made a very nice podcast about precious plastic and the work that we do. So make sure to check it out because it's a very enjoyable half an hour, uh, sort of uh, uh, having, having a look at the, the global impact of precious plastic. Uh, next, Viva Lab from Porto have been sharing a how-to on how they made their electric skateboard using our uh, recycled sheets from the sheet press. And talking about the sheet press, we are seeing more and more uh, development and sheets being made, uh, one of which uh, been made up to three meter long in Oregon, the US. So it's really exciting to see all this development happening in the, within the ship press world. So can't wait to see more in the upcoming months. Okay, enough with plastic. Now let's dive into Project Camp, our project prototyping a more sustainable way of living. Now, after a very, very, very long wait, we finally managed to get the containers on the land, taking a step closer to get the base camp ready. So first container uh, sat down, it was actually super smooth, and next is going to be the kitchen. Okay, okay, so both containers arrived, uh, kind of a big deal, waited long for this moment. Uh, so a lot of tension coming out, and today is also Saturday, which means the little local shop in town sells pastelnata in the weekend. So it seems like a perfect time for a little celebration. Next, there's a big announcement for Project Camp. Finally, we are gonna be welcoming people to come and help us out. So if you're interested to come and help build Project Camp, make sure to check Project Camp YouTube channel because in the next video, they will give you all the details on how you can come and help us build Project Camp. But if you're not into moving and coming to Portugal to help, you can still do so on the Discord channel for Project Camp, which is currently on fire with development. So if you have some engineering backgrounds or design backgrounds, make sure to get active in there because uh, you know, all this help is very much valuable for the development of Project Camp. 
And last, our newborn project, Fix in Fashion, uh, a project trying to fix the, the many issues connected with, with fashion. And we released back in April, and it went all kind of smooth. The video was received nicely, the, the, the website is receiving some nice traffic, and we got quite a few uh, nice and important uh, press coverage in the likes of Days and Confused, uh, The Zine, The Australian uh, Financial Review. Uh, this is all very useful uh, to sort of build a community and a big bit of a following uh, for the project. The Instagram page is slowly taking off and most importantly we are seeing people uh, fixing their clothes finally and sharing on Instagram their, their fixes, which makes us very, very happy. Um, if you do want to help the project, there's mainly two things that you can do. One is uh, fixing your clothes, uh, or repairing, or upgrading, and sharing that on Instagram, so that more people can come across the project and can be inspired to fix and repair their clothes. And alternatively, if you're lucky enough to not have any holes or damage on your clothes, you can still share and spread the, projects, the project amongst your family, friends and networks so that more people can come across all this very useful knowledge to care and prepare for your clothes. Alright, that's it with this monthly news. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks to all the patrons for supporting month in, month out. And I'll see you in the next video.